Okay, this video shows the Pythagorean identities that we use from the unit circle. We can see it, and we want to use these as substitutions. So let me first go through the first basic one that we want to make sure we know how to do. So this one is basically looking at the unit circle, and we know that the radius here is 1, and we know if this point out here is x comma y. So we ask ourselves, um, you know, how can we break this down using Pythagorean theorem? Well, Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, in this case, what's our a value? Let's just use a different color here. Our a value here is our x value. Our y value here is the b. And then our c is obviously the radius of 1. So if I substitute those in here, I could simply say x squared plus y squared is equal to um, 1 squared. Okay. Now, what we learned from the unit circle is that x is really the same thing as cosine of x, and or cosine of input, and then the vertical dimension is sine of input. Okay, and that's what we picked up from the unit circle. So now I'm going to replace these with simply cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to one. This is the basic uh, fundamental. Pythagorean identity that we want to make sure we know and memorize and can identify very quickly. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is simply how do we um, translate this into the two other ones. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide all three elements by sine squared. And oops, let's put sine squared across first. Let me do this again here. So I'm going to put divided by sine squared x, sine squared x, and sine squared x again. And we're simply dividing that all three times. So cosine squared divided by sine squared is the same thing as cotangent squared x. Sine squared divided by sine squared is simply 1. And 1 divided by sine squared is the same thing as cosecant squared x. So that is another trig a Pythagorean identity we want to know. And we simply got that by dividing everything by sine squared. Now I'm going to take that out of there and I'm now going to do it again but divide everything by cosine squared. Cosine squared here and cosine squared over here. And now when I do this, cosine squared divided by cosine squared is 1. Sine squared divided by cosine squared is tan squared. And 1 divided by cosine squared is secant squared. And that is the third Pythagorean identity we want to know. So those are the three. Now, again, the one that I want to make sure that you always remember is this one. And, again, I don't even bother memorizing these. Uh, you can if you want, but I'm going to show you how you can very quickly derive them because um, you want to use all three for substitution. Now, notice they all involve a squared trig term. They all involve a 1 and all six trig functions are represented. So you also you pick the function that matches the trig that you need for substitution. So you use these for substitution whenever you see a 1 or trig squared is a good indicator of what to do.